Well, this morning we are taking a closer look at the Cape Girardeau Conservation Nature Center. Now it's a great place for families to learn more about the region and to have some fun. Yeah, well, Brooke's been having fun this morning and there's an opportunity coming up to take part in a special celebration. Our Brooke Slyer is obviously there, Brooke. Yeah, good morning, Evie and Dave. Well, the Nature Center is going to be putting on a birthday party for a two-headed snake, a Sweet 16, actually. And let me tell you, this celebration is going to be better than my Sweet 16 because my mom grounded me when I was late for the ACT. So a little bit more fun happening right here at the Cape Girardeau Nature Center. And joining me one last time is Jamie. So what is going to be happening here, and when can families come check out the Sweet 16? We're going to be celebrating this Saturday um, in the afternoon from 1 to 3. We're going to have a program in the auditorium about reptiles of Missouri um, and black rat snakes um, at 1 o'clock and 2 o'clock. We'll have some games out on the lawn. We'll have some craft activities. And, of course, there's going to be cake. All right, you guys got to have that cake, right? And so I want to know, how did you guys get this two-headed snake? Because I've never seen one before until I came here to the Nature Center. I mean, it's pretty interesting to watch. Yes, it's very unusual. Um, it, Having two heads or conjoined twins, as, as they are, um, happens in nature, happens in any kind of species. Um, it's just typical that she would not have survived out in the wild because somebody would have had her for breakfast or lunch. Uh, a lot of times, because she has two brains, uh, she wants to go two different directions. So she should have, would have been easily spotted and it would have ended up being food for somebody. But they were brought in. Um, to us as soon as the Nature Center opened 16 years ago and she's been here with us taking care of her ever since. And one of the interesting things that I've learned so far about this snake and the two-headed snakes is they also really don't survive in nature too much because of competing with each other for food. Right, right. Um, actually, we have a very special process that we use for feeding her. We'll cover one head up with a cup and feed the other head, and then we reverse the process because with ha having two brains, it's got two mm -hmm. appetites, although it is just one snake in one stomach. So, yeah, we, we have to be very careful because they will argue and fight fight over food. Well, a very uh, special celebration for a special snake here at the Cape Girardeau Nature Center. Of course, I'll have that information on our website a little later this morning. That's WSILTV.com under news for this morning. But for now, back to you in the studio. Two-headed snake. I didn't think it could get any worse. <laughs> yeah, the snake uh, lovers are rejoicing. Those that are fearful of snakes right, are like, oh, running no. away. But, uh, <laughs> but not many folks may be running away from these temperatures. Look at this, guys. 53 degrees in Carbondale this morning. That was